Today, I want to kill a worm. I don't know how we're going to go about it, but I think the place to start is to probably find the worm first. So let's just head down the slimy path where it crawls and see if we can find it. I guess uh, this will also allow us to fill the map in, so kind of multitasking. The game has had a couple updates since last time I played in, one of which has been to change repairing items. You now no longer use scrap. Oh, here it comes. Okay, it's gonna be right here. And let's just get in here. Let's get some hit. Oop, no. So it doesn't stop moving. We can just stab it while it goes by and I just got destroyed instantly. Hmm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with that. As I was saying before I got massacred by that worm, so now the repair bench will repair gear with the bar that's used to craft it. In the sense of bronze, it apparently uses the tin, which is the more expensive resource, so that makes sense. I prefer that system much better because it was very exploitable with just scrapping a copper pick and then repairing a tin gear. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's cool to see an update. Maybe it would be smart to take a ranged attempt. So let's see, does the slingshot require ammo? Oh, it just uses durability. Oh, maybe this is a genius idea then. And in that thinking, I've decided to craft a few of these heart wraps or whatever they're called because they increase my movement speed and that's probably going to be helpful for chasing this stupid worm because the worm obviously doesn't want to fight me it just wants to run away and I would run away too so it's uh it's fair I guess a good way to start is just going to be to run head on towards the worm and uh hopefully we come across it soon and then we can chase it to its death that's my plan I don't even know if one slingshot is enough to do the durability that I need so I'm just kind of gambling there oh and here we go the worm is coming so I'm going to go ahead and eat that and let's do a test fire here oh okay yeah that does some damage so i don't know if my speed boost is actually going to be enough to catch the worm i'm going to need to get some like range out of the slime if i want to catch up to the worm i think okay the worm is definitely leaving me behind but the slingshot also doesn't deal that much damage it takes three hits to kill a slime and i'm pretty sure i can kill a slime in two hits yeah, I definitely can kill a slime in two hits. Okay, my newfound plan at this point is just simply going to be running along the path, farming resources, and I'm gonna try and stab him a couple times in the rear as he goes by, and we'll see how many years this is gonna take to kill him, because I have a feeling it's gonna be a very long time. Oh, here he comes. So let's go ahead and just stand right here on the edge, and we're gonna just get in here and do a bunch of hits there. And I'm gonna hope that that did something. I hope he still has low health the next time he comes around because I don't know if he'll regen. If he regens, then I have to rethink this entire thing and figure out a way to kill him quicker. On second thought, that's taking too much effort. So I'm gonna go ahead and just eat, you know, two chunks of food. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and do something else. So we have this iron workbench that we can make. It takes 10, make, it takes 10, 10. Wow, that, that's gonna hurt my brain. So we'll go ahead and grab the iron that we have and the tin, and then we're gonna craft the workbench. We're down to 24, 10, that's not good. So I'm gonna need to grab a little bit of that. So let's go ahead and slap the iron workbench down and and look at what we've got here. Oh, we've got the Scarlet Workbench and it requires Scarlet Bars. Okay, so that's something we haven't found yet. Iron Anvil, great for crafting higher tier equipment. Smelter Kiln, melt valuable ores. Let's craft that, because I'm curious. So the cartography cable probably won't apply much to us. A watering can, that's gonna be useful. Um, an electronics table, okay, that actually sounds interesting. And a jewelry, that, uh, okay, that sounds like it could be interesting potentially. And then we have stone floors, stone walls, and all that good stuff. So we can probably rebuild this platform out of stone and all that good stuff. We'll look at doing that after a little bit. But I think we should probably just get into the age of iron. So let's get an iron anvil. And I think I need to come up with a better thing for my anvils right now. But let's go ahead and check out whatever this kiln is. Oh, so this is where we smelt gold and then scarlet. Okay. Since I currently have 27 gold, I might as well get smelting gold bars. And I guess for now, let's go ahead and place the anvils here for now. Oh, an iron helmet, gold fiber and iron bars. That's going to be cool. That'll look even cooler. We won't look like a Spartan and we'll look like a knight. Okay. Sometimes hitting what you're trying to break can be a little difficult, but we made it through it. So in order to make iron equipment, we need gold for all of it. So I'm hoping that it still repairs with iron bars. That's gonna be sad that we don't have the uh, repair with scrap anymore. 
But let's go ahead and make an iron sword. That's an immediate upgrade. And we are gonna be so much stronger just having an iron sword, I feel like, because that's a whole 102 to 124 damage. That's that's a very big difference. This sword was only 74 to 90, so we've got way more damage now. Okay, so we still two hit slimes, so it's not a one hit yet. But in order to fuel my addiction for higher power, we're gonna have to go farm a bunch of iron. The best way to do that's probably gonna be to head over here and just run around for hours looking for iron or so yeah this is gonna take a while i just realized that these guys actually have an extremely simple animation that you can dodge you just simply wait to see them do a massive attack and then you step out of the way so they're not actually that hard to avoid dying on okay i may have died but i won't die a second time also just learned that i can press e on that and then i'll get everything plus the tombstone so i don't actually have to break it which is kind of good to know ow that these guys deal a ton of damage Oh, and there's one of those mages. Better be careful. Ow, that... These guys actually do hurt. Just gotta be a little bit more careful and uh, eliminate these guys as we go about it. Very, very carefully. Without dying. And it's gonna be one of these pickaxe guys. We'll go ahead and uh, get him to hit. Just kinda... We wanna bait out the attack. That way we don't get hit because I'd like to stop dying. Ooh... What is that? It's like a gigantic shell. It's a shell in a shrine. I mean, I guess free loot, but I'd also like to know what I'm looking at here. Uh, do I, br wait. Ammonite necklace? Oh, I can't break it, but I can get this, okay. What is this necklace? 15% max health. So um, technically it's better than what I have because Currently, all I've got out of this is, uh, is I've just simply got health and we got a little bit of gold. Okay, so we've got a little bit of material now. Let's go ahead and check what it costs. Okay, so I can make a golden pickaxe, which is really nice. I can also make the iron hoe as well as the shovel. Um, I should just go ahead and invest in the shovel, I guess, for whenever I need it. And then into the box, these go. And we could, we could go ahead and look at this jewelry bench, I guess. We might as well, because we might as well see what we've got here. So we've got iron chunk necklace is just 12 armor. What I've got is better than that. Okay, these are kind of interesting. So these are just like little bits of power-ups. Then we can have a glow. The glow is actually kind of nice, because you can see what you're doing without placing torches and all that. Um, so I can see why that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and check the anvil again. So, okay, so in order to make this, we need the... Okay, that's a lot of iron, so I just need to go start farming a ton more iron because I might as well get the super armor because why use anything other than the best? So clearly, we're gonna get the helmet because the helmet is always what looks the coolest out of any armor set. And straight back to the mines I go to get more iron. I've managed to find an iron node that requires a drill. I really should probably figure out how drills work soon. I've actually come across a pretty good amount of iron at the moment there is a ton down here on the trail especially so this is nice and free right now and i can harvest it without really doing much but look at that a whole 37 iron make that 39 oh this place is super cool there's like rails over these like what are these stone archways i don't even know uh what you would call that but it's like a completely different material from anything i've seen so far there's like more of it over there as well so this is like a runes type thing this is pretty cool but i'm gonna need to go and craft stuff in order to cross this gap so that's kind of problematic. Ooh, what are you? This is a merchant or something. I need to craft things ASAP and get across to there. Ooh, this is a massive deposit of iron. This will be a ton. And there's something over there. I want to know what that is. I found a ton of slime up here and uh, a ton of mobs with this, but I'm not sure if there's anything actually here. I kind of thought this might be like a uh, another boss area or something, but doesn't really appear to be anything at all. Just an area with a whole lot of slime. Oh, there's even more over there. I really need to craft some platforms. And my health is declining at this point because I'm starving, so... I kind of should go back and get some food. And we accidentally cut into the area above my base, so I'm already home. That was way less effort than I thought I was gonna have to do. So we'll go ahead and dump all of this iron into here. We'll have 76 something iron, and that's gonna be awesome. Okay, food has become a problem. So we need to figure out how gardening works or something because I'm gonna starve to death and die. So what I'm thinking is for now, let's just go ahead and clear out this entire area right here and build a garden right in the middle of here. And uh, later, Later, when it's in my way I can move it because I like wasting a lot of time moving things that I build in a stupid location okay 
Now, we've got the hoe, so this is like Stardew Valley, I'm guessing, where we just uh, we just bonk the ground. And then what? We we just place these seeds down literally. Oh, I can't place the Karox seeds here. Wait, does each individual crop have to grow in its respective tile? So then we have to individually water every single plant. Uh, I really wish that the watering can, as you upgraded it, would have done a tier, like an area, because this is the, uh, you know, the highest tier watering can. But uh, apparently I can't grow Karox yet, which is what I want. So I think I have to go over to the biome and harvest some ground. So I think we'll try that real quick. Okay, rock tiles acquired and time to go test that theory. Oh, the plants actually, they apparently grow really fast because these plants have already like sprouted up into like seedlings or well, whatever, whatever that form would be called. I don't know. Baby larva plants. Yeah, I know it doesn't look pretty, but it does its job. Now I've really got to hope that I get my seeds back when I harvest these. I mean, I'm assuming you would because I mean, that's just logical, but I probably won't, and somehow I'll regret doing all this, but now I'm kind of interested in farming, so I kind of want to grab some more seeds. The root, uh, the root's like a wood farm, so we'd have to set up an area for farming wood, honestly, and, uh, I guess we could grow some bomb peppers. Um, glow tulips, I'm not gonna worry about for now, so bomb peppers it is. Go ahead and just cut out another direction this way, but yeah, I really wish there was a better way to water this, because this is very annoying to click every single plant. But uh, then again, I guess it kind of makes sense. Now we wait. Hopefully not too long, because I'm impatient. Ignore the fact that there's two carrots missing. I had to replant all of these and re-record this because I'm an idiot and forgot my microphone was muted. So the crops are grown and we can now harvest all of them where we will get a couple seeds back, but you're not guaranteed seeds. So it appears that you pretty much always are going to lose seeds the more you grow. So I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to go about this so far. Um, you may have to kill enemies because I know some of these seeds can be dropped from slime. So maybe you need to make a slime farm and murder slimes and that's how you recuperate. And uh, it could just be that you have to kill enemies in the areas where the seeds are grown to get more. That might make sense because we only got eight heartberry seeds, which is, um, well, as you can see, that's quite a few from being what we just grew. We grew 12 and that's eight, so you know we're missing four. On the bell peppers, I seem to have good luck on bell peppers. Uh, both times I've harvested this now, I've only been missing one. So that's not bad. And the Karox are, well, they're just as bad as the heartberries. I think it's all random though, because the first harvest I had was able to replant all of these and then I was missing two here. I've, actually, I lost two again. So every time I harvest this, I think I get two less seeds than I did the first time, which is a little bit uh, rough to deal with, but we're gonna have to figure out how to do that for now. Um, maybe I shouldn't be eating. Maybe I should be eating stuff that I can easily grow or farm, which the slimes I know for sure I can farm. So maybe I should be combining bell peppers and the wraps right now. That might be my most renewable food source. So I should save these because these are 23 armor for five minutes, which I like armor. Maybe we should go with these hearty pepper wraps and just make this our main source of food right now because we can kind of make it renewably. That's probably the best idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but we're gonna have to figure out the food situation eventually here. I wonder if I can plant other crops on the stone. I cannot, so you can only grow rock carrots there. That's kind of interesting, but I will go ahead and water all of this just for a reset while we go and do some more farming. Okay, so the next thing I need to worry about is I need to get some of these wooden bridges. So I'm gonna craft a bunch of these, probably about a hundred. And uh, once we have a hundred and one, okay, that's good. Um, now I'm gonna craft some torches and then we're gonna go back to farming and exploring. I think I'm just gonna deposit almost the rest of my wood like that. So now let's go ahead and cross those gaps and check out that merchant. Hopefully he hasn't despawned. I don't know if he can or if that's a thing or not, but I'd love to go see if he's there. Okay, let's get down here and check out this big, bo oh, what is that? Wait, is this a, ooh, this is a house, but there is, <laughs> that is a big enemy. Do we just, we slowly tiptoe in and stab him and let him aggro, yeah. Oh, he tills the ground, that's super useful. 
I'd actually like to use that. Caveling chest. Okay, well, that's worthless to me. Caveling pants shave or oh, this is actually the uh, the mining clothes or apparently it just does random stuff. So that's pointless. But yeah, this is kind of interesting. What is this? Is this a chest? Caveling table. Okay. Is this all furniture? Caveling toilet? I guess it is. So wait, is this like a village? Oh, that's super cool. I didn't know there was like actual runes of cities and stuff that you could explore. I think we're gonna have to be very careful and go ahead and take care of a lot of these mages because their ranged attack is quite deadly, actually. We got ancient coins. I don't know what those are for. Oh, out. Oh, maybe that's for the merchant guy that we found earlier. Oh, there's a ton of housing over here. Oh, nope. That's a very bad idea to get stuck in a corner with one of those guys. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and steal all of the tables and furniture here because I like it. And why would I not steal it? I'll also be sure to grab anything else that I see and want. Oh, that is a... Ow. Wow. Those big guys hurt a ton. Okay, that was actually really painful. I wonder if I can break this, though. I definitely can, and it's just a loot box, basically. So, not that exciting. I was hoping for a little bit more, honestly. But wow. Wow, those guys definitely hurt a lot, those big guys. So we don't want to get hit by them very... Oh, wait, did he shatter my armor in one hit? My helmet's already halfway broken. Oh, I am I am on a sliver. I am on one little sliver of health. Okay, that is really interesting and wild. Let's go find that merchant instead for a little bit. Oops, I accidentally died. But dying also isn't the worst thing that could have happened to us because now we're back where all of our material is and we can actually take a second to craft some armor, I think. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, we need fiber. I don't know if I have enough fiber. I might have to grow. Nope, I have plenty. Okay, well, pants and breastplate. There we go. Go ahead and swap that. We're not gonna bother repairing anything. Just dump it in a box. Now we have a full suit of iron armor. Check us out. We look like a knight. We look amazing. I am curious as to what it takes to repair this, though. Oh, it takes three iron bars just for this half broken helmet. Wow, that's going to be a lot of iron needed. But we're going to have to do a lot of farming probably because I just blew through an absolute metric ton of iron there. Oh, these guys are apparently aggroed onto you for like ever or something because they're still, they pathed all the way from where they were out here. Will they destroy the slime? Ow, wow. Those guys deal a ton of damage if they can hit you. Okay, that's one down and... Let's just be careful about this. There we go. Nice. Okay, those guys are very scary because they can literally, like, they can one-shot you, I guess, almost. I seem to have allowed for a lot of guys to get out into the pathway here, so, uh... Oh, we're definitely gonna die again. Oh no. Okay, I'm just simply trying to get back to my body. If everyone could allow that, thank you. There we go. Okay. Now... To the villager guy, the trader, the big shaman man. Wait, is he trapped in a cell? He's trapped in a cell of water. Maybe maybe we should disconnect this after we've spoke to him. Oh, a summoning idol. Wait, a crystal idol to reawaken him. A flintlock. Ooh, a musket. There's guns in this? That's awesome. Look at that damage, 165 to 201. I don't know how we get this coins to sell. So we can just sell, we can sell items for their literal value. Oh, these caveling armor pieces sell for a bunch. So let's go ahead and sell all of these. And um, the ancient coins. Okay, that's what he takes is ancient coins. So I think we can probably, you know, work towards this and selling it. And uh, then we can get enough that we could actually buy like uh, the musket. The iron chunk necklace, uh, I thought I I got that for free or something like that. I thought I could craft that or something. Well, this is kind of interesting. Um, he also sells the caveling bread, which is not bad food, actually. So this is pretty cool. I wish he would move into my house. I don't know how to get him to do that. But let's go ahead and explore over this crevice back here. I'd like to know if there's anything over here besides just more biome. Oh, there's definitely an open area, so we're just going to dig to that. I... Oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? They just aggroed and came running for me. Um, but I can't show it now because of losing all my inventory there. But when my iron pick broke, it gave me a 10 pickaxe. So I don't know if that's a glitch or if uh, it's supposed to give you a lower tier pickaxe. That was really interesting. But now I have to go get my stuff back again. But you know what? I've got to get my armor back and that's going to take a while. So I think I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.